Here's your latest flash briefing from Western Mass News. Hey there, everybody. Welcome here to Western Mass News. I'm Taylor Jacobs. The dangerousness hearing for 24-year-old Miguel Rodriguez. He's a suspect in the kidnapping of a Springfield girl expected to be heard in a Springfield court today. However, it is unclear if Rodriguez will be making an appearance at this hearing. He is accused of kidnapping the 11-year-old Springfield girl while she was walking home from school a week ago. He is currently being held without bail. Also today, the Joint Committee of the Massachusetts Legislature is uh, set to consider a bill adding nips to the list of bottles eligible for a five cent deposit. Activists for this new bill extending the deposits to nips, they say it would drastically help the littering problem, create an incentive. The bill would add any beverage container under 100 milliliters to the existing deposit law. Also, we have some new information. This regarding the death of 84-year-old Reginald Sanford in Granby. Sanford was found with lacerations and also significant blood loss on Sunday morning in his Pleasant Street home. Inside the home, investigators found two reddish-brown fingerprints on a pair of jeans. Those fingerprints, those were later linked to 28-year-old Ayana Torres. Torres was arrested on Monday and charged yesterday for Sanford's murder. She is being held without the right to bail. I'm first warning meteorologist Don Maher after a frigid start. Lots of sunshine coming our way with temperatures getting back closer to where we should be for this time of the year. In fact, the rest of the week we're going to see temperatures moderating and that dry weather stretch is going to continue. But we continue to watch this potential for a weekend, a storm threat with wintry precipitation likely right now. Looks like timing would be Saturday afternoon, Saturday night and into Sunday morning. But enjoy the quiet weather while we have it. Fair amount of sunshine each day and temperatures are actually going to start to moderate each day as well as we go from a low to middle 30s today to near 40 tomorrow to mid 40s, uh, perhaps on Friday. Friday, and then if we watch for that storm system for Saturday afternoon, Saturday night into Sunday morning, accumulating snow is possible, especially in the higher elevation. Something we'll be keeping a very close eye on as we head through the next several days. Looks like precipitation ends by Sunday afternoon, and it is a drier start to the beginning of the new work week. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.